All right, well, in 2009, which is basically just a little over a year ago, we did our first official Hanson branded roast of coffee. Uh, and our friends here at Double Shot in Tulsa, Oklahoma were the ones who helped us pick out the coffee and uh, helped us roast it and all that kind of stuff. And it was really, really great. It was a great experience. And you all responded to it so well that we figured we would do it again. As the, you know, in Hanson coffee enthusiasts, yeah. You know, Those are two I, uh, coffee food. And, and I, I think speaking on behalf of the whole, you know, Hanson team, where there's several other coffee enthusiasts, we wanted to show you guys a little bit about, um, you know, some some kind of aspects of the coffee. While where we talked to Brian, who owns Double Shot here, and do a little taste test, make sure it's right, so that it makes its way all the way to you. your cup. Yeah. Here we are, almost at the end of the road. The beans. We get to to taste it first before it, it turns into the coffee you guys are going to try. We're here with Brian at Double Shot. Um, you guys all loved coffee from last year, so yeah, exactly. So we had to come back to our favorite place in town, and uh, I think I'm pretty excited about this. Oh, yes. <laughs> I hope you are. Too excited. <laughs> I, I had to get an early start on some other coffee just because I was we were here. Exactly. So tell tell everybody about like. When you describe the flavor of this coffee, I mean, it's sort of like wine. It all has layers of different kind of things you look for. Right. To me, this one has a, a little bit of a citrus note, maybe like a, a limey type citrus. And yeah. It's got some uh, some florals and some nutty qualities to yeah. it. We ground it up, and it's you, know, you can smell the the dry fragrance of the yeah. coffee there. Wow. I got it. You know, that actually is a it's really lively. Mm -hmm. that, it's that a is, real bright coffee. Really it's, yeah, really, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the brightness of it, you can like, it almost, uh, some coffees are really kind of dark and kind of very, almost like chocolatey or something, right. very kind of heavy. It's got a good base. That one, this one's got like a lot of uh, pick-me-up to it. Yeah. Notes, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Really I know. Cool. I know, it's exactly. So maybe it's like should, a tenor coffee. Yeah. Maybe we should rename it. Um, does it help if you're, you said it was nutty, does it help if you're nuts when you... Drink it? I don't know. Helps. I've always been nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> well, uh, the thing I was thinking about this is obviously last year we did a coffee, you know, around Christmas. Does the time of year when when they're harvested does that change the flavor? Do you, a lot of it has to do with the way they're processed, but right, Kenya has actually they're they're on the equator, and so they have two harvests every year. Um, wow. Kenya and Colombia both have two harvests every year. The second one is smaller and um, it's called a fly crop. So their main harvest is in our, our winter and yeah. then the fly crop is in our summer. And um, so that usually the fly crop is not quite as good of a crop and this came out of the main harvest. And another cool thing for us about doing these coffees is, is this is a Kenyan coffee. Africa is, you know, the the, the origination of coffee, right. and just like last year's, this one is also continuing. The, part of the proceeds from this coffee is going to support uh, one of the Take the Walk causes, which we've been involved with, um, helping to build schools in Kenya. So you guys know that when you're buying this coffee, not only are you getting great coffee, but you're also giving back to that this, this part of the, the continent of Africa, that's part of Kenya, where um, you know you're taking away, but you're also giving back. Also, I mean, over the years, you know, it's like one of those exciting things where, you know, as you as you do music, you're sharing the passion that you have for melody, for song, for kind of, you know, evoking emotions and talking about things, but then then take this opportunity and share another passion that we have, which is coffee, with you all, and have an Maybe right on the edge of a session. Maybe yeah, exactly. a session. Right. <laughs> when you guys are roasting, mm -hmm. I mean, every step of the way, it, it can affect the flavor, like you said. The, when you get the harvest, how they process the, the beans, uh, but then down with you guys, the way you actually roast the beans, you know, we've talked about this before, what is it that you're looking for? Because you're, you know, the joke about Starbucks is that they burn their coffee on purpose. Right. But you guys look for catching the, catching the flavor right where it's... Right, nice. how it goes is I get samples from a broker or from a yeah. farm or whoever is, is selling the coffee 
and I have a small two barrel sample roaster that I can roast like a half a pound in. And so it's, it's a really hard, like roasting in a sample roaster, you have to be a good roaster, you know, there's no like <laughs> fooling around. You can't be an amateur. Like, so yeah, I roast because you samples. can burn it quickly because it's, it's small. Really, there's no way to tell how it's going except by looking and, and listening and smelling. And Waiting yeah. for it to hear it crack so you know that it's right. breaking through. The when you roast, there's two cracks. There's a first crack and a second crack, and I try to stay off of second crack. Yeah. The second crack is where you start to lose the particular characteristics of the coffee, in my opinion. And we yeah. don't encourage crack in general. So That's right. Crack one is crack is fine, but <laughs> two, two cracks, cracks is just going to Yeah, it's just really too much. <laughs> so, like, coffee is one crack. Right. Cocaine is a whole other crack. That's a don't different kind of crack. crack. We don't like that. No, no cocaine. It's just you can't focus, and it's too jittery. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Have you already <laughs> drank some? Let's do it. Okay. I brewed this in the Chemex, which is a pour over method. It's like an auto drip, you know, except for I have complete control over the water distribution, so it's a lot better brewing method than just doing right. an auto drip. Right. It I really lets, like auto it, drip properties. Oh, okay. okay. All right, here it is, moment of the truth. This is the our Kenyan Matondo coffee. I'm gonna see it. See how cheers. it tastes? I'm drinking it before the cheers. cheers. <laughs> wow. That is, that's really, really good. You know, it is really, um, I'm surprised how even keeled it is because of how how bright and lively the net the bean on its own yeah. tastes it. It's like a, it actually feels like it's really sort of a soft. Mm -hmm. but mm. A lot of times when I smell a dry fragrance in the coffee, yeah. that's what I taste on the finish of the coffee. To me, it was really interesting because it starts off with that little bit of brightness, like you smell in the initial, like you can smell when you first grind it. And then it really kind of gets really nice and even and mellow right in the middle. And then has this kind of like a, not so much chocolatey, but it has kind of a, it has like a really nice kind of full body finish to it. Like it's a very kind of, like you said, it's a very even coffee, but it has a very nice kind of complexity. I don't know, that's, that's, that's one of the better roasts I've, having a while. That's really good. This just tastes like a breakfast coffee to me. It would be like a nice... Yeah, this I drink coffee today. all day. <laughs> <laughs> You're asking me if it's for breakfast? Or... <laughs> it's always for breakfast. Always for dinner. Always for Coffee dinner. is what's for breakfast. Dinner. Lunch, dinner. Yeah. <laughs> We're like one of those 24 hour breakfast places. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, there's our coffee. The Kenya Matondo. Um, Go get one or two. You yeah. will enjoy it, I'm sure. We did. Brian, thanks so much. Thanks for coming down, guys.